sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for our next carry attack and the second in the new series of relatively realistic ones. This one comes from Martin Palmer. 6B1s actually mission capable in 2019 as per Wikipedia. The USAF had 62 B1s in service August of 2017. In August 2019, only six of them were mission capable. So how come in 2019, the US had 62 B1Bs, but only six of them were mission capable? I'd love to know what the reasoning for that is. Uh, this comes from a B1 attack that we did. We record a week ahead, if you know what I mean. So by the time you guys are sending in the messages, we're a week ahead recording the next one. So everything is a bit out of phase. And Martin's response is this. Please revisit the TU-22 M3. This is a supersonic Russian bomber capable of anti-ship. But this time, use 20 to 30 of them instead of nine i think we tried last time uh, we've had a look at the russian inventory of active aircraft and they could easily muster 20 to 30 of them apparently with anti-surface warfare missiles that in will be the kh-22 we believe supersonic missile 30 mig 31s as air-to-air -air escorts with the longest range air-to-air -air missile loadouts and perhaps some su-34s which are the two-seat uh, air-to-ground flankers, and see what happens. Brackets, snipe AWACS. Okay, so he wants a full tactical Russian air wing to attack the carry group by the sounds of things. So let's go and have a look at today's fight. It's going to be a big one, so I'm going to spend 10 to 15 minutes explaining everything. So get your coffees now, valued viewers. US carry group very quickly, as usual. Nimitz class carry in the middle with supporting vessels. Surrounded by four times Arleigh Burke destroyers with two times Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga cruisers at the rear, two times subs, forward and aft. And we've got airborne, we've moved up to four times, four times cap ready FA 18Cs, which are representing Super Hornets, obviously, with four Amram Cs, two sparrows, two sidewinders, and bags. That's four of them airborne with an E2 Hawkeye. AWAX that's going to play a big part in day, hopefully. And on the ship is 32 scramble ready FA 18Cs representing Super Hornets, each with six AMRAM Charlies, fuel tanks, and sidewinders and full fuel ready to go, giving the Blues a total of 36 Hornets, four of which are airborne. They're tasked with taking off and defending the carry and that's as far as i take it it's all up to the ai after that which brings us to today's bad guys a massive mixed air wing coordinated tot attack of the russians so no tot attack ever goes perfectly to plan and so you can see some of them are a bit behind some of them are a bit ahead just of about 10 seconds worth of travel they're moving transonic range starting at just over 190 nautical miles which is the range that we, we believe the AWACS would be able to see them if they were low altitude which they are they're all starting at 200 feet if the AWACS is at 26 and a half thousand AMSL which it is and you can see they're about 195 to 205 nautical miles away about 230 240 miles about I guess 400 kilometers so that's where we imagine a real carrier fleet would be able to see them with their AWACS in situ so this is the realistic attack and now we have to go through the giant air wings so let's start with bombers we've got 28 times tu 22 m3 supersonic bombers which are the big backfires as you know each carrying three times kh-22 kitchens which are massive powerful dangerous anti-ship missiles with a huge warhead that is 84 times kh-22s which let's face it there's no defending from that but that's what you wanted i'm just going with what the guy suggested so you guys are the boss next eight times su-34 fighter bombers from the flanker variant each carrying a staggering six kh-31a creeped on anti-shipping missiles 
Plus, medium range air to air missiles, plus short range air to air missiles, plus jamming pods, all of which are going to be used. So that's eight of those starting off at low level. Next, we've got the air defense. And if I try and pick one here, we've got 15, 15 times MiG 31s here. They're equipped with four times R 33 three semi-active long-range missiles. Now, I thought these could actually carry the R-37, so for some reason I can only equip the R-33, so I don't know what's happened there, but we've only got so much time we can spend sorting this out, so that's what they're going to have to have. And two times R-40T, which are the EO electro-optical guided variants of that. 15 of them, all low level for the time being. In terms of AI instruction, they are being told to go to their various waypoints, make their various attacks at whatever altitude they see fit. So they won't stick to the ground. They'll go wherever they want to go after this. OK, next is the human intervention, if I can find it. Human intervention is thus. We have three times MiG 31s with the same payloads we saw before. This one is me and that is not respawnable. I only get one life because I need to show you guys what's going on with the map otherwise. These two here are Cortana and Simba, and they are respawnable. Say hello, guys. How's it going? Hello. They can respawn as many times as they like, but because this battle is so fast moving, they'll realistically be able to spawn two times, maybe three times. So that's five or six airframes maximum. And finally, we have our wild card, which is the bracket snipe AWACS. Well, if the Russian air wing was going to take out an AWACS, I would send in a stealth plane. And that's what they've done. They've taken one of their precious 12 or whatever they've got active phalons here, SU-57. This is human controlled. It gets one life and one life only. And the job of the phalon is to, and this does not have to start on the ground. This has started at 50,000 feet because it's a stealth aircraft. Obviously, the AWACS can't see it of this range is one job is to go in and kill the AWACS and that's going to be human and you've got one life with that if you fail then tough you just have to jump into a respawning MiG-31 and that's that that is a lot of weaponry coming at the Americans and I really don't think they can defend it but uh, we're going to try it anyway and just a summary valued viewers that's 28 TU-22Ms with 84 KH-22s 8 SU-34s with 48 KH-31s 15 MiG-31s with all of their uh, gubbins, five times I've predicted MiG 31s humans, um, just one SU 57 Phalon. That is a total of 57 aircraft from the Russians versus uh, 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 36 FA 18 Cs of the Americans, plus whatever, whatever SM2s and stuff they've got to fire. Uh, it's a total of 132 anti surface warfare missiles from the Russians. The carrier group, excluding the Hornets, just the carriers themselves. We've finally done the math to get everything calculated and tested. Thank you, Rogue, for doing this. The carrier group has, amongst its destroyers and Ticonderogas, 436 SM2 standard missile twos, which is going to be used for air defence. It's got 42 RIM 116As, and it's got 16 RIM 7s. As well as that, about 40,000 rounds of 20 mil phalanx ammunition and whatever else they've got. We have all the Bushmasters and stuff like that that we didn't bother looking at. So needless to say, it's by far our biggest fight yet. It's pretty realistic. I mean, role play, you'll have to figure out your own role play. We're not here to do the role play. But as far as we can see, these guys should be able to get within this range, assuming that this task force, this carry group was doing what it does. And it has been in this situation before. Predictions. I'm going to do mine first. The Swedish attacked the Americans yesterday and almost beat them with a much smaller force. So I've got to say immediately this is going to be an absolute wipe over for the Russians. There's just so many of them. You've got half the Russian Air Force there. Cortana. Yes. Predictions, please. I think we're going to see sort of like what we did with the, uh, the B-52s the other day where it's just going to be overwhelming. Agreed. There's only so many missiles you can defend from it's all it's all going to be about how well those hornets react if they can storm us quickly enough i i think it's very un unlikely though simba i like my chances oh god he's so confident it makes me sick right guys get ready for the biggest fight of your life so far Stan. and welcome to the biggest battle we've done so far 57 soviet or russian aircraft in a massive tot attack on 36 hornets defending an entire battle spec carrier group. Unfortunately, and this will disappoint a lot of you, Cortana has had to pull out. She's sick and she can't carry on. So it's unfortunate, but, you know, the war must go on. So it's just me and Simba now. 
I'm going to start in the MiG-31. Simba has drawn the long straw for the SU-57. So he gets the one life in the SU-57 to take out the AWACS and whatever else he can. I only get one life because then I need to kind of watch the battle. Are you ready? Yes. Set your faces to battle valued viewers on three, two, one, go. Let's do it. Power on. MiG-31! She's a big beast. She is a big beast. God, it's hard to control. Already spiked. Already spiked. Right, let's see my little Simba. I mean, there's pretty much too much to watch. There's 57 aircraft here, SU-34s, TU-22s, MiG-31s, and even the beautiful new stealth fighter, the uh, Phalon. You've only got your four internal weapons, Simba, because I wanted to keep your RCS as small as possible. And, you know, that's what it would do if it obviously went for carrier strike. It would keep internal bay only. He's at 50,000 feet already. And supersonic, I don't know what Mac is doing, but you can he'll be overtaking you soon. I'm gonna do what the MiG-31 does best. Get high and get very fast valued viewers. Wow, big chunker. Listen to those engines. Big old agricultural smoky engines. The valued viewers are saying that the stealth would come from a different direction in real life. I mean, maybe, but the Russians wouldn't be allowed to fly over the Iranians in our Wow, someone's already fired a missile. The Russians wouldn't be allowed to fly over the Iranians in our um, in our role play, so we're having to go down the Persian Gulf corridor. I don't know why an R-33 is out. Oh, how about that? They're shooting, break a... Vegan! There was a rogue vegan that I left in here somehow. Um, I must have left them from the Swedish fight, and I must have made them hidden somehow. I can only apologise, valued viewers. Well, that's a four planes that are out of it. Sneaky Swedes. Good bloody Swedes. How do we even know they were there? Okay, well, there you go. I'm at 32,000 feet. Right, let's see what ye old Americanas are doing. We're well over, I have, what, 200 nautical miles away, so... Yeah, they are scrambling. They've detected us. And what else have we got here? We've got the cap that are coming towards us. For four times, F-18. Oh my God, what's he doing? He's flying a high angle of attack, and I don't know why. He's doing an air show high angle of attack pass. <laughs> That's DCS. I don't know, but there you go. I'm going even higher, valley viewers. I'm going to space in my MiG-31. Look at the powerhouse that is the fox. It's not the fox bat, this one. The other one's the fox bat. What's this one? The fox hound? Fox hound. Fox hound. Yeah, baby, fox hound. Oh, Zimbra is streaking out in front. Oh, I don't know how fast you're going. If someone can work out what 420 knots is at IAS at 50,000 feet, it's probably Mach 1.8 or something. It's a lot. See what these guys are still being weird. Oh, I don't, I can't help it, Valley Viewers. I don't think I can control what they're doing. I've asked them to go at 500 knots. They're actually going at 130 knots. I'm afraid that's a them problem very much. These ones are working, the old ones are working. Look at them getting out of you, getting speed for the big fight. Defending their nation's pride. Really don't know. I can't see the Americans winning this one. A lot of people are moaning. Nah, nah, you always beat the Americans. You're biased. However, if you go and look back, over 80% of our 26 videos, the Americans have won. Okay, these 31s have defeated their weird invisible vegans and they're back on task. They are going to be late, which is really annoying because it means the bombers are going to get a face full of uh, American AMRAMs, which is bad. Simba is now oh, still 130 nautical miles to AWACS and he's still got to get past all these weird flying hornets. I hey, offer pass, baby. Okay, I am at, I think it's about 40,000 feet. You guys convert it for me, I think it's about 40,000 feet. Must be supersonic, it's such a powerful fighter. 
400 knots at 40,000 feet. How fast does that go as Mac? 1.5? I don't know. Okay, look at all our beautiful planes. Interceptors, anti-ship bombers. Massive, supersonic, giant kitchen carrying, old school, smoky, heavy Soviet 80s bombers. Who wouldn't want that in their life? Look at the big blue afterburner, Valley viewers. Rawr, I'm blue. Look at the radar guarded gun on the back. Do not want to get behind that. Okay, I'm well out in front, Simba. Well, apart from you, I'm well out in front. Zero, five, zero. I'm going the wrong way. Why do you keep pitching right? 12,000 meters, valid viewers. What's that in feet? Must be 40,000 feet by now. Uh, 370 knots, 60,000 feet, guys. Someone can get a local air Mac for that. That's what Simba's doing. Loads of guys. Soviet muscle and iron. And there's nothing, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that's unrealistic about this, guys. All of these exist in the inventory, as far as I'm aware, in these numbers, all ready to go. Again, let me know if you think I'm wrong, but from what we can see, everything here is ready to go in real life. Obviously, we're having to use old Hornets instead of Super Hornets. You know that. You know there's nothing we can do about that at the moment. It's the best we can do. So my hypothesis is if I'm in Russia's stealth technology, mm -hmm. then... Iran won't know if I'm flying over there. I did think uh, about property. that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Iran can't see you. I don't know. Uh, how good is stealth really against a ground radar? I don't know. About Mach 1.7, they're saying you are fully loaded with fuel and fully loaded with missiles. That's not bad. Okay, I'm about to start shooting, I've just realised. Oh, they're all jamming. Those sons of guns. But I don't think that they've noticed me. Yeah. Either. I'm pretty spiked. No, they've no one has noticed you. So stealth is working for the time being. The ships will see through it, as we know, because they saw through the. Oh, missiles are out! Missiles are out! A thing is happening. It's R33 is out from 58 miles. What a missile! What a missile! Hang on, that means I can shoot. How are they seeing through? How are they burning through the radar? No, I can't lock anything. Hang on, I'm having a few minor problems, Valley viewers. There's a dang good chance I'm going to get shot down here because I can't burn through any of these ray these uh, uh, ECMs. Oh, 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 hello! I'm going to fire your face! Cap is. Won't fire. Missile away! Yeah, 33! Boom! The phoenix of the Soviet sky! And another one for good luck! Boom! Look at that! That's how you use a foxhound, guys. Just smashing hornets out of the sky. Look at that fight! He's, he's, he's notching. I'm not going to let him go. He's mine till the end, guys. Uh-oh, this guy's seen me. Dodge, Mr. Hornet. Dodge. A barrage of Soviets still in the air. And look how far these missiles are. Good luck dodging that, mate. Oh, damn, he's done it. Old missile, not very maneuverable. And the tracking isn't that good either. As you can see. Now, our merge speeds are so quick. There's pointless me... Trying to hit him at five miles. Look how quick I'm going. It's like an SR-71 trying to attack something. This thing will not dogfight. I'm just going to lock another target. And then I'm going to give him some mug loving. to get some baby oh my god missiles ahead i think not gonna lie oh my god i can't dodge i'm too fast pull you giant piece of
I'm full off it, guys. It just won't respond at the speed. Yes. Super cap. On speed. Sweet. I haven't set up my camp menu. That's useful. Going low. Let's do some cheating. I am right in the middle of them. That's me there, valued viewers. I'm actually producing a useful service here, I think. Right, I'm facing the wrong way. Turn. Burner on. Let's do it. Let's go dog fighty fighty. Stop shooting at me. There they are. All I've got is jammers. Jammers, jammers, jammers. Okay, this guy looks close. This guy's close. Let's get him, boys. And... Whoa! There's a the guy right there, look. Fire! No, fire! And fire again! Old Russian missiles, let's make sure we're two. Bang! Bang! Let's have you, Mr. Hornet. We're gonna suck him. Don't know why I said that. Going for the 40 tangos. How has he dodged that? That's ridiculous. I've just outrun all of the Amrams. I'm so fast, valued viewers. Maximum speed. Firing. Maximum speed. Get some. Woohoo! Look at that Maximum missile. Speed. Maximum speed. Guns, guns, guns. Maximum now I've got another speed. missile. Maximum yes! Speed. Maximum right. speed. Do what the Foxhound does and just. Ch oh my god, it's a battlefield. even go for I mean it's mad Fox down down doesn't matter 14 more to go uh 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 Okay not that many hornets have made it out Look at that Hasn't got the power to keep up with a foxhound. Oh, map two right over its face. Yes! Suck it! Suck my giant missile! Uh oh, what's happening there? Kitchens are out! Kitchens are out! I can't. There's too much going on, Valley Dewars. I'm just gonna eject because it's getting stupid now. Right. I need a sip of tea and let's try and figure out what the heck. Everything's happened so fast. Okay, Hornets have got airborne and they are dealing with the fighters. Better. Who's that? How are you getting on? Simba! You're there! You're merged with the AWACS! It's worked! And the ships aren't firing at you. It works! Fair and square. Right, kill it. That's an order. As soon as the AWACS goes down, loads of these guys, this guy's SAs just disappear. And they can't fight properly anymore. Yeah, Boom! I'm trying to visually find him because he's not showing up on my FCR. Finitsky in the face. Okay, here come the first uh, KH-22 kitchens. Oh, they're getting taken down by SM2s. Look how fast they are. 2,000 knots with a ton freaking warhead on it. One of the most terrible things you've ever seen. SM2s are doing their best to intercept. Oh, what's it going for? It's not going for the carrier. Oh, okay. This one's not going to stop, though. Oh, it's an R33. What's an R33 doing all the way over here? That thing went friggin' transatlantic. Oh, there was just too much to... I just got to sit here and shut up, basically. How are you getting on, Simba? Uh, I'm trying to find him because he's it? jamming me right now. All right. Well, that's a you problem. I'm gonna leave that to you. In the middle of all this, we've got a friggin' dogfight. A hornet with a foxhound dogfight. There is literally too much to watch. Okay, no KH-22s have got down so far. I've got through, which I'm surprised about because they're so fast and they're so high and they're so. But I guess they are quite big. Yes, foxhound gets through. 
don't know what to look at. Oh, it's an R40! Boom! Horn it down. Look, this horn has made it all the way into the back and it's attacking the rear ranks of bombers. More KH22s out. More. I've got to see how Mother's doing. Mother's still pumping her baby hornets out. And the Aegis is going nuts. There's 370 Fox 2s in here, guys. Uh, sorry, SM2s. This is a kitchen. It's going to get through the. No Damn it. No kitchens have made it through as far as I can see. But more are coming. I think I'm going to lose my voice by the end of this. We've got dogfights. We've got dogfights. What is that? Dogfight with an SU 34. Wowza. What just happened there? That's a R40. In it goes! 2,000 knots! Oh, you got lucky, sir. This one's going for the carrier. It might get through. It might get through. Missed. That's a dead carrier. I'm sorry to say. If you're in the US Navy, look away. No! Oh, my God! They shut it down! They shut it down! Where did that one go? I don't know what's going on now. They are just pouring in! Maximum range of an R33 coming from the stream at 164 nautical miles. That will explain why they're bringing... Oh my god! Okay, it's just it's just heavy hit after heavy hit now, Valley viewers. Boom! Arlie Burke is blown in half! Oh, okay, it's only one Aether in! Look at that, it looks like a freaking spaceship! This is freaking unreal, and there are hundreds of them. Can these even be intercepted? These look like British bloodhounds. Okay. I think that was actually a 75 mil round. Uh, sorry, 125 mil round. These are slower. Oh, slower and easy to intercept. Oh my god, look how many there are. Why are you talking in that? Cage 31s are in! Carrier's getting... Carrier's been here! A cage 31 got through to the carrier. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't. He got shot down by the Felix. That one's going to get... Oh, it's on fire! It's on fire! They can't take off. They can't take off. The saturation of the Soviets was absolutely unending. That is freaking unreal. Oh, supercarrier is toast. Oh, look, they're still trying to take off, bless them. It's not going to happen. Cage 31 still coming in. It was just too much too soon, I'm afraid. I don't suppose you were running TAC view. I should have recorded this in TAC view. We could have had a kind of slow motion, see what's going on. Oh, and extra kitchens. Well, none of us really thought this was going to end well for the Americans. So much firepower in so little space. So little time to react. At Mach 2 fighters coming in. Mac 3, they're Mac 3 fighters, aren't they? I forgot. Jesus Christ. It's consolation. Let's see how many um, uh, 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 guys they can shoot down. A few hornets left in the air. Oh, the AWACS is gone as well. Did you kill him? Okay, all these have done yes, their missiles. Done. And they're landing at Abu Masar. Oh, they're... it's endless. If you're an American, turn off now. This is not going to get pretty, except Simba, you have to stay. You are legally obliged to stay. Oh, that Arlie back! It hasn't can't fire enough missiles to defend itself. Oh! Oh, that's just cruel, man. Oh, yeah. No one wants to see that. Oh, it's toasty. It's toasty. Oh! Even the merchant ships are getting absolutely nailed. I changed their orders this time, valued viewers, so they can attack whatever ships they want. They want to attack merchant ships, they'll attack merchant ships. Heavens, I don't, I'm not going to tell them what to do. Well, they saw it fit to attack the carrier, pretty much. Oh, the carrier's sinking. The carrier's sinking. Get off, boys. Get off that boat. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Freaking... Oh, it's you, Simba. Ah, uh, Simba's... How's your... Your stealth It's completely stealth! This one, they've modelled this one so stealthy that even the ships can't see them. Which I think is definitely wrong. But... That's mods. That's mods, Simba. 
Yeah, it definitely should have been able to get a rear aspect view of me. Yeah, because that is... I, I, well, anyway, look, it's not my place to say, but I'm pretty sure that's not right. But I know anything about anything. Okay, well, the, the boys in the air, Will Smith and co, are still going to go out without a fight. Whoops, the, the ship war is over, but the air war is still ongoing. SU-34 missed and missed and going to be dogfight. The, 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 the Hornets are all going to be out of ammo. Oh. Maybe not. There's just too many. There's too much clutter. There's too many. Oh, remember, all of these reds are jamming as well. And that messes up these guys' radar. Makes it almost impossible for these guys to shoot. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. What are these guys doing? They just went into Iran. Pretty sure you shouldn't be there, mate. Everyone's freaking supersonic. These guys are about to merge on the face! Dodge, man! Wow, he did dodge. Now I want the Americans to win. Merge. Well, I know who's going to win a dogfight out of an 18 or a 31. This guy's just going to run, run away, look. Watch out, man. Watch out. Watch out. That's a heat seeker after you. Where is he? Oh, that really all happened too quickly, if I'm honest. Okay. I wonder how many red casualties there's been. I'll, I'll count them all in a bit. This guy's running in. Oh, uh, this guy. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's running into SU, uh, SM2s. Oh! Platypus face down. This guy... This guy's not, they've not seen each other. Oh, it's, it's you, it's you. Simba. You just didn't get shot down. That's so not right, I swear. We should have had SM2s pumping at you whenever you weren't low and head on. Oh, the Hornet has done a bad thing. It's an impossible fight for the Hornets. Every aspect they go, they've got baddies around them. Two more Hornets left. And then it's pretty much land time. Oh, and this guy's toast as well. Oh, technically this guy's still alive apparently, but he doesn't look very alive to me. Oh no, I just clicked on the wrong one. Oh my god! Dogfight! We're watching this one. The MiG-31, I think, just extends out of the dogfight and just gets the hell out there where he should do, if he knows what's good for him. Look at the F-18 turn on him. He's got no sidewinders, he's used his sidewinders already. Too high and they're too fast, they just can't maneuver. They're all just landing, these guys are landing at Tumlet. Backfire! Big boy landing! Zap, 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 zap! Uh, that runway's not long enough for you, mate. Parachute! Invisible parachute! Wagner! And this guy's landing Abu Masar. Not even, not even fair. They can't even see me. Yeah, it really is a bit. <laughs> you just feel bad flying the SU-57 in DCS. Start shooting fish in a very small barrel with a very big gun. Can they even see you visually? See if they can see you visually. Just fly in front of him and be a douche. See if he can hit you. I bet his missiles can't even track you. That's so stupid. Okay, he definitely sees you. He's got his little beady eyes on you, Simba. It's now one times dogfight. Have fun blacking out in that aeroplane. Ah, right. I think that's it. Let's do a count. So basically, the entire carrier group, bar four Ali Burks, were destroyed. Uh, even a submarine was destroyed. One submarine wasn't. That's how reckless this was. And that's interesting. What's he doing? Oh, and there's one F-18 in floating in the water. Not sure how that happened. And then a couple of guys that are dogfighting but refusing to fire, which is a bit weird, but... Right, uh, reds. Oh, how do I do this? Okay, so one... 57 take away 34 guys. 24 of us shot down. 
30 to 40 percent failure rate i think uh okay stop bugging me about tim but time to debrief i think that was a realistic realistic outcome does anyone not think that was a realistic outcome Again, so many guys. I mean, everything was set what I'd consider relatively realistic in that they were all 200 miles away on the yeah, on the surface, on the ground. You know, I mean, apart from uh, the um, stealth plane, they all had to obey all the physics and stuff and had to obey all the rules. They could only carry realistic loadouts, blah, 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 blah. The Americans had four guys already uh, airborne, although they were flying weird, but nothing I can do about that. Um, then they tried to scramble 36. Guys, all fully equipped with air-to-air. Air. I, I can't do anything more for them, really. There's just not enough SM2s in the world that could be fired to stop such a barrage of so many fast supersonic missiles. And once the KH-22s have got through to do a bit of damage, the KH-31s just did the polishing off. Plus, there were so many more. There was twice. There was lots of KH-31s here, all up at once. And it was all about time on target, firing enough missiles, enough saturation in enough short of time that... Aegis just couldn't cope with it. There's only so much it can cope with. And 100... And, well, hang on. I've got my uh, data here somewhere. 132 missiles we fired there. 132 air-to-surface missiles. Half... 84 supersonic. 48 subsonic. There's, like I said, there's only so much Aegis can cope through. And they did well in a way because only half the fleet actually kind of got destroyed. Uh, so they put up a damn good fight. Anything you want to add to that, Skimba? Uh, yeah. I mean, not bad for only going up against F-18s. Roger. Uh, it's also the old block as well. The new block just aren't working. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.